Um, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm going to talk about intents for agent cooperation. And in order to start, I want to share with you one quote of a person that really changed all of our lives, Albert Einstein. So he said that there will be trillions of AI agents, and maybe one of them could win the next US elections against Elon Musk. And obviously, this is a joke, because Einstein knew that Elon Musk was not born in the US, so he cannot run for presidency, right? But in every joke, there is a grain of truth. And the grain of truth here is that there will be trillions of AI agents. Just count it by yourself. There are billions of people, uh, there are hundreds of millions of corporations, and they have at least you know, 10 to 100 services inside of all of these corporations. We are going to hit this number. This is the decentralization of the AI agents that we are going to face. And the question is how they are able to cooperate. And there are multiple stages of the cooperation for the AI agents that are in place. They need to discover each other. They need to figure out that some AI agents are specialized in ordering a coffee and others are specialized in closing your banking account. They need to figure out how to settle in between them. And uh, this means that they need to figure out how to pay, how they can be accountable for what they are uh, promising to each other. Payment channels is another interesting thing. So everybody have heard multiple years ago about uh, microtransactions and stuff like that. It was never picked up with, the, uh, with people, just because people, for people it's not very convenient to use microtransactions. But for AI agents, as long as they have the access to compute, well, they can microtransact with each other. And the most convenient way how to do this is through the payment channels. And in the end, obviously, in case something is not working, we probably all have seen how large language models are not given to us what we expect them to give to us. There needs to be a dispute resolution mechanism. It can be automatic on-chain, or it can be outside of the chain with you know, experts coming in and figuring out how to settle. Now, the thing that we are bringing today is that all of these things are going to be available as a core part of the NEAR protocol. And this is our vision for the future of the infrastructure for AI agents corporations. Now, a little bit into this vision, the decentralized message bus that is going to work in parallel with the NEAR blockchain itself is going to power the communication and discovery of the AI agents. Um, as Ilya said, we're going to introduce a new type of a action in the NEAR protocol specifically for the recording and settlement of the commitments. And the third thing is that we're going to open up, a we're going to create a new standard for payment channels that are going to settle on top of the blockchain. And uh, already many people have been talking a little bit about the payment channels, so just want to throw in something into you so you understand it a little bit more. So the payment channel is uh, a construct that allows you, allows two agents to create a channel as a transaction on the network, or on the blockchain. So this is like an opening transaction. And then they can send money to each other uh, many different times or many times and then only settle on blockchain with this another closing of the payment channel transaction, right? So that's the thing that is going to be introduced. And obviously you're going to say to me, yeah, yeah, the vision for the future infrastructure, yeah, very interesting, Alex, as always, uh, but this is not the thing. This is the piece that I'm delivering to you on the vision side. Uh, but if you know me, I always try to ship something and give something into your hands so you can try it right here, right now. And the first use case for the intent, uh, for intents on NEAR protocol is something that you are able to use right here, right now. And this is a multi-chain DEX. So kind of not very funny, right? But actually, it is fun. I will encourage you to, to check it out. But before we're going to take a look at the demo, I would like to pay your attention to four abstractions that are introduced in this product. First one is obviously chain abstraction. The tokens, the chains that this DEX is integrated, uh, it's not only a single chain, right? Uh, near Bitcoin. Ethereum, Arbitrum, and Base are integrated right now, and more chains to come. 
we do have a wallet abstraction in this solution so that it doesn't matter with which wallet you're going to sign in. Currently, we support near wallets, all of the near wallets that support message sign-in, and also Ethereum wallets, including MetaMask, Coinbase wallet, Wallet Connect wallets, and all this. All of this stuff is there. The third thing is a token abstraction. Everybody are tired of USDC on base, USDC on Ethereum. There is only one USDC in the platform. There is only one USDT on the platform. There is only one ETH. So it feels like a centralized exchange. And the last and the most important is that there is a contract abstraction. Users are not calling any contracts. Users are not uh, signing transactions that they don't understand. There is no blind signing that is happening there that causes lots of problems, especially in cases when the supply chain of the front end is compromised. So let's see it in action. You are going to app.nearintense.org, and you are able to connect to it with MetaMask directly. By the way, everything that works here is going on the Near protocol, right? So I'm choosing the deposit token, and this is Tether from the Ethereum blockchain. I'm copying the deposit address, going to my MetaMask, and I'm just sending Tether to this address exactly the same way how you have been sending um, tokens to your centralized exchanges uh, of the choice. The deposit is received, and now you're able to do the swapping. Swaps are happening in between USDT and USDC. Please know that there is no particular chains that are connected with it. And you're able to withdraw USDC, in this case, in base. You put in your wallet address, and you sign a message. You're not signing a transaction. This is just a message that you have signed, and it's settled on near protocol. And if you will check it out, there is this USDC available on your on your account. With the rest of USDT, we're going to do something that is even more crazy. We're going to swap it into Bitcoin directly. You're again going to sign a message for doing the swap, and you're going to withdraw this Bitcoin into the Bitcoin blockchain by again signing a message. And And just like that, Satoshi got approximately $50 um, uh, worth of Bitcoin in, into his account. Um, what you have just seen is a reference implementation for the intent protocol. It is not intended to be the place where you can go, though you can do it right here, right now. But this is something that we see that is going to be incorporated in all of the wallets, in all of the frontends that have users, um, uh, this is not kind of a final product, but instead this is a platform that everyone is able to use in order to give this uh, solution uh, to the users. Now there are more things that are going to, uh, to be developed within the near intent par paradigm. Uh, obviously, the first things that we're going to focus on is adding off-chain services and AI agents for this. Um, so a little bit of a different types of intents rather than just swapping one token into another, right? There will be new chains that are added and these lines, uh, these lays uh, inside of the direction of the chain abstraction. So the first chains that are going to be added and we're targeting for Ton and Solana to be added by the end of the year uh, and even more chains are going to be added. Because of the unique uh, position of the chain abstraction narrative in near protocol, we are able to do everything that you have seen with the chains that do not have any smart contracts. And to my best knowledge, the, uh, the, this type of swapping in a permissionless manner is the first in the industry. Um, we are going to integrate all of this with applications and uh, market makers and solvers um, uh, right away. Again, we are not keeping this inside, but instead this is an open platform. This is an open protocol for everyone. So uh, if you would like to see this on your website, just uh, get in touch with me and we will figure out how to do this. We are going to help you to integrate all of this, this solution. Just on, in the uh, realm of um, AI-Fi, 
uh, we are going to add additional pieces of this financial infrastructure into this, uh, this platform, including account fi or the ability to uh, trade accounts, lend accounts to other people. Uh, we are going to introduce a shared liquidity pool against which the market makers will be able to borrow, which is going to make the swaps even more efficient. Uh, lending is going to be introduced and more and more of the other primitives. Uh, as I said already a couple of times, the platform is open and anyone is able to introduce their own types of intents that they would like to be available for everybody and for the frontends to use. And uh, lastly, all of this is working as smart contracts on NEAR right now, but as I was saying, we would like to integrate it deeper on the protocol level to make it even more efficient and uh, as a standard for everybody. Intents powered the future of NEAR as the blockchain for AI, and I'm super excited that we are building this thing uh, all together with all of the community. You are able to access it right here, right now, with your NEAR or MetaMask wallets. You can forget already today about using your centralized exchange for swapping this USDT into Bitcoin. Instead, you can do it directly on the NEAR protocol in a decentralized manner. Go and check out nearintense.org.